a big news story that has reverberated all around the world. After 10 minutes of back and forth, the verdict was in. The number one tennis player in the world ousted from the US Open. Novak Djokovic abruptly disqualified from the tournament after he hit a ball toward the backboard and struck a line judge in the throat. Should Novak Djokovic have been disqualified? Was it the right decision? Absolutely. There was no choice for the officials but to. If it would have landed anywhere else and we were talking about a few inches, uh, he would have been fine. This has been an extraordinary week for Novak Djokovic and the Australian Open. Novak Djokovic has been detained in Australia ahead of a court hearing that will determine whether the tennis star can stay in the country. Today, I exercise my power to cancel the visa held by Mr. Novak Djokovic. He faces deportation from Australia. His career could be sort of semi-over. Novak Djokovic has been deported from Australia and will not be able to defend his Australian Open title after a federal court rejected his appeal. Many are outraged by his treatment. He has been the player to beat. He has been the guy who's had the, the target on his back. Novak has taken it to another level on both sides. You know, he's taking away steps and time. The tougher he gets, the tougher this guy is. And He's got the most weeks at number one. He's now got the most year-end number ones. He wants to finish with all of the records. I don't see any signs of him stopping. It's gonna take a, a really special effort from someone to beat him. Roger had only been broken two times the entire tournament. Novak breaks him six times in the finals. He's always covering the next space. By far the best player on the planet last year. I think he's serving better than he's ever served. Yeah. His ground strokes, his, his ability to play under pressure. The mental resolve that he has got is quite remarkable. The Novak Slam, the career Grand Slam. Novak to me has been the one guy that both of those guys at times have been left scratching their head. He's learned how to put, make this drop shot and a weapon. He can get the pattern he wants against Rafa and Roger. The ability to come back and dominate again. Always a record when uh, Novak Djokovic walks out onto the court. When you look at the numbers, he was the best player. It's very clear he was the best player. It's just unbelievable the way he's playing, competing. It's, it's uncharted territory. Who is the best returner in the world? To me, it's Novak. Novak. Yeah, Novak. He was clearly the player of the decade. Obviously, he dominates a lot of tournaments. He plays defense, he's offensive, his serve is short up. I told myself uh, what Novak would do. <laughs> Novak Djokovic ends the year with more than Roger and Rafa. That uh, ferocious competitive spirit to find ways to win. I don't think I've ever seen Novak Djokovic play better. Felt like we all should have just sort of dropped to our knees. Who is the best player in the world? Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic. Novak. Novak. Yeah, Novak. Novak. Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Phenomenal ball striking. He's done it again. Oh, standing ovation, please. He's simply out of this world.